This is Iceland's most popular waterfall. You've probably seen it in your Instagram feed or as your desktop background. One of the reasons it's so unique is because the rock face recedes behind the cascading water, allowing you to walk all the way behind it, but only in a mild mist, which is really no different than being anywhere in Iceland. But what the almost million annual visitors might not know is Iceland's best kept secret lies 20 miles away and we're taking you there now. In our four years of travel, we've shared that life on the road isn't all staged photos and slow motion twirls. We're Tim and Finn, and whether we're stuck in the mud, stuck in the rain, or stuck at the border, we're sharing the unfiltered reality of it all. Subscribe to join the adventure on Tripped. Right across Highway 1 from Seljalandsfoss is the ferry to the Westman Islands. The Westman Islands are Iceland's best kept secret according to their tourism website. See, this isn't clickbait. And we're on a mission to see if this is true. We're so lucky with the visibility right now. This is where we're going. But because I can see it, I just wanted to show you right at the horizon. It's gonna be right there. I have to show you a picture of what that is. We can't get there, but here's a picture. This is gonna get real crazy real fast. I don't know where Tim went, but I'm gonna stick it out as long as I can. Those look like some big waves and it's probably about 50 degrees, but I'm so excited for this. Are you kidding me right now? What's that blue? Why is it blue up the... And that bright thing in the sky, it hurts my eyes. I had to put these on. It's scary. Ah, we're here! <laughs> Woo! I haven't personally interviewed the entire population, but according to many internet sources, Icelanders don't necessarily believe in, but also don't deny the existence of elves. Regardless of reality, elves are a big part of Icelandic culture, and one of the things I was most looking forward to seeing here in Iceland are all of the houses, little elf houses that are in people's gardens or all around the countryside. What a better place to talk about this than on this insanely sunny afternoon in Iceland's best kept secret, the Westman Islands. No way. Oh, oh my gosh. Wait. 
Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, Tim. Of course, this is where we're staying. Oh my God. Ah! Why, oh my God, it's so cute. <laughs> I can't wait. Come on, you little elf. Come on. Every host we've had here has been nicer than last, which is saying something. And when we booked one of these little drum houses, they're not really elf houses, but we weren't expecting something this nice inside. I thought it was gonna be a lot more rustic than this. Oh, there is somebody else in. Our host did warn us to crank the heat right away during the daytime because it gets pretty chilly at night. Now we're down to the southern tip of this Iceland. This Iceland. Well, which I was going to say has got to be the southern tip of all of Iceland, apart from the little uninhabited islands out here. But it's also, according to the internet, the windiest place in Europe. I can kind of think of some other places that might be windier, like off the coast of Portugal or something, but we'll go test out the theory. Gotta go find some more puppies. This is some free wool. You can make a very, very small sweater out of it. A sweater for an elf? Oh, this is scary. <laughs> No. Oh no. Oh, being bad. Oh. Oh no, uh -oh. it's being bad. <laughs> oh, is there three? I think there's another one down here. Oh, it'd be nice, Mom. Nice. Ouch. I'm on top. Wee. Oh, come up here. Oh, you're too fat. Oh, yep, there's the one in the back. Who's being good? Sorry, Mom. How cold do you think that one down there is? Aww. Oh, night night. 
Okay, good job. Time for night night. Night night. Home sweet home. This whole island is amazing. It's really common to come out here on a day trip, but I absolutely recommend you spend the night. This is a glamping, camping location that has these super cute places and they're incredibly affordable. You can grab the one like we had with a little seating area or the triangle ones are more of a studio. And then you can also park your camper van here on site or even camp in a tent, which seems to be a very popular choice. There's hiking trails all along this entire drum on this area of the island and just walking around everywhere seems to be part of the draw of everyone just really excited to just be out here enjoy, enjoying the island. Please remember to take off your shoes before you enter the suit. Sure. And of course, put your shoes back on. <laughs> Good idea. We had so much fun on just the ferry ride over that today we're exploring by boat again, but it might be a little crazier than the ferry ride. Place is going. Tell already, this is gonna be awesome. So bring your A game, cause you know this party won't stop. We could never run out of time, sipping strawberry lime. You know, I wanna share it with you. made on this beach. <laughs> so that's where we're staying, right on the other side of this beach. And there's an awesome uh, festival here the first weekend in August, if you plan on coming. <laughs> this is so fun. Vinny's elephant hunting right now. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh boy. If you couldn't tell, that boat ride was awesome. We had such a great time, one hour length, perfect. If you're worried about being freezing, they have those survival suits. Even the other person with me <laughs> was really warm for it. So boat ride was great. We got a lot of island to explore. Starting rain, first food.
if you live on a remote island off of a remote country in the middle of the Atlantic, you kind of have to find your own fun. This activity here that is called Spring is enjoyed by the locals, including this rope swing right here, which anybody can use, <laughs> including us. And it, its cultural significance is the fact that historically, you'd have to use the rope swing to go up and gather the bird eggs up in the rock hole. Crevices. To become an expert like myself. Yeah. You had a good demonstration. <laughs> Let's try it out. <laughs> joining us here in the Westman Islands. We hope you're enjoying this Iceland series as much as we are enjoying this incredible country. I hope you're enjoying Finney's sheep footage as much as Finney enjoys shooting it. Uh, in the next month or two, we have news we're pivoting our channel to mm. just sheep travel, like very focused on beautiful sheep of the world. So oh. I hope you stick around for that if that's your sort of thing. You tell me a better shot I've ever taken than the jumping baby sheep. <laughs> it warmed my cold little heart, so I can imagine the effect <laughs> oh, it Oh wait, has better than the jumping sheep might have been the sheep on the mom head. That doesn't look vote, real. Vote below in the comments. <laughs> sheep on the mom, wait, and has to be shorter. Sheep on the mom or beautiful sheep in the Sheep home. on mom or a jumping baby. <laughs> Comment below, we'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>